Greetings! Welcome to our official YouTube channel Petaka Technologies. In this video, let's see how to count the rows in Power BI table. In this sample data, we have project table which contains two columns. First column project name contains the various projects and the second column time taken contains the duration of months to complete each project. From the source data, we need to count the total rows of the project table. To get this, we need to use the DAX function in measure. To create a new measure, right click on the source table project. Once you right click, it will list out the available options related to the source table. From this list, we will select the new measure. To create a new measure to count the rows in Power BI table. In Power BI desktop, measures are created and displayed in report view, data view or model view. Measures we create ourselves appear in the fields list with a calculator icon. We can name measures whatever we want and add them to a new or existing visualization just like any other field. Measures are used in some of the most common data analysis and simple summarization. The calculated results of measures are always changing in response to your interaction with your reports. Once you click on new measure, we can see the formula bar where we can write the DAX to count the total rows in Power BI table. Measures calculate a result from an DAX formula. DAX provides immense flexibility in creating measures to calculate results for just about any data analysis need. We have renamed this new measure as total rows. We use count rows DAX function to count the number of rows in the specified table or in a table defined by an expression. The syntax of count rows function is count rows open parenthesis in table parameter select the name of the table that contains the rows to be counted or an expression that returns a table when not provided the table value is the home table of the current expression. This function can be used to count the number of rows in a base table but more often is used to count the number of rows that result from filtering a table or applying context to a table. Whenever there are no rows to aggregate, the function returns a blank. However, if there are rows but none of them meet the specified criteria, the function returns zero. There are three reasons why we use count rows. It's more efficient and so it will perform better. It doesn't consider blanks contained in any column of the table. The intention of formula is clearer to the point of being self-describing. When it's your intention to count table rows, it's recommended you always use the count rows function. In table parameter of count rows DAX function, select project table and close the parenthesis of count rows DAX function. After you have created a new measure, it will appear in one of the tables on the fields pan, which is found on the right side of the screen. Power BI inserts the new measure into whichever table you have currently selected. While it doesn't matter exactly where the measure is in your data, you can easily move it by selecting the measure. You can use a measure like any other table column. Just drag and drop it onto the report canvas or visualization fields. Measures also integrate seamlessly with slicers, segmenting your data on the fly which means that you can define a measure once and then use it in many different visualizations. Let's visualize this data in card visual. To visualize the data in card format, 
select card visual from visualization section and drag and drop total rows measure to field after successful placement card visual looks like this it shows that rows count of the project table is 19 this function will be very much useful when you are handling with huge data table you can easily know the exact rows it contains so far we saw how to count the rows in power bi table using dax function in messer if this video helpful to you like this video and share this video with others ask your questions or share your feedback in below comment section to watch more videos like this visit our official youtube channel petaka technologies to book your slot for online training visit our official website petakatechnologies.com to get notifications on upcoming videos subscribe to this channel and activate bell icon that's all for this video thanks for watching